The United States declared that road from Chicago to Santa Monica U.S. 66 in 1926. It was the first major transportation route from Chicago to the ocean. During the Dust Bowl, Route 66 was the road to opportunity. After the war, travel was again popular with the citizens and they traveled on vacations again. The motel courts became popular. People would be able to park their cars next to the motels. People made their living from the tourists traveling on Route 66. The United States decertified it, decommissioned it in 1985. That's when he told the world the freeways are now finished, you don't need 66. It's an era that's, that's done and gone by with. When businesses moved away from Route 66, they left behind contaminated properties, commonly called brownfields. EPA's involvement in the Route 66 initiative started with partnering with Arizona to look at how we could help rural communities along Route 66 clean up the abandoned gas stations. The reason why the uh, Brownfields program is so important to us here in Winslow and, and along Route 66 is that many of our downtowns were hurt uh, quite a bit when I-40 bypassed. The businesses that used to line this highway, a lot of them have disappeared. Some of the old gas stations had tanks that, that had been in the ground for quite some time. They've leaked petroleum products, might have contaminated the soil. So the Brownfields program is allowing us in these rural communities to revive once again. Well, when I came here in 1976, uh, 7th Street, which is the old Route 66, uh, was still a major uh, business uh, a community here in, in, in Victorville. Uh, we started getting the, the, uh, the malls and, and the uh, other businesses in the outlying areas of the city. And so the old town, as we own it now, uh, started to uh, deteriorate. My vision of old town is that it will be revitalized. We're, we'll have mixed-use buildings. That means it will have uh, businesses on, on the bottom levels and uh, residential on the higher levels. And that means that we'll have a, uh, not only a daytime uh, uh, population, but we'll also have a nighttime population. Uh, and that, uh, when you do those things, then that supports uh, the businesses. It used to be the center of town, but as things changed and businesses deteriorated, it became kind of second class. There's tremendous value in our rich history. So we're rededicating and refocusing our economic development efforts on the Route 66 and Forest Street corridor areas. I envision the future of Highway 66 to be a, a tourist attraction um, multiplied by 10 of what it is right now. Originally, people would drive their cars down old Route 66, pull into the old motel with the missus, and uh, enjoy a great dinner and see their country. Now we're finding that we've got urban trails that run along Route 66, so people are riding their bikes and taking their dogs out, and they are enjoying the outdoors, and it's just a really uh, great place to enjoy the community. Reusing old industrial properties for solar fields and other renewable technologies makes economic and environmental sense. There are about a half a dozen solar projects in the Mojave County area that are, that are being proposed to help us uh, be less reliant on the fossil fuel industry. I mean, I'm really excited about this. Billions of dollars are going to be pumped into this area, and we're all going to economically benefit from this. Local folks are trying their best to turn things around and revitalize those communities. You see all these old buildings and old things along Route 66, and the effort to try to make them come back alive for everyone and revitalize those small rural communities that need the jobs and need the redevelopment. And that's part of why this is such a great project. If we don't value where we've come from, we'll never know where we're going. And that's the good thing about what brownfields do for a community and really the richness of Route 66. It's about understanding our past so that we know how to grow it, how to develop it, how to make sure it's healthy so that we can really value where we're going in the future. If you ever Plan to motor with, travel my highway, the highway that's the best. Get your kicks on Route 66.